do want to take this time uh, to thank the both of you guys for joining me for this interview. Um, I must also say thank you to QTV Network, Nubian TV, Tilted Crown Productions, your PR, and everything. So before we get into anything, how are you guys doing? I'm doing good. I look good. I feel good, babe. You look good on the camera, baby. Uh, you, you look good. Yeah, you look, look good. You look good. <laughs> no, you look good. No, you look good. The, both hey, of you look good. Now, look, I'm going to get more into that. My man, my man, my man. And I'm going to get into my wife, my wife, my wife. Let yeah. me say this. Um, And thank Let you to the that. chat. Wife, you guys, wife, guys make sure to hit the like button. Yes, ma'am. And I love the braids. Okay. But let me tell you this real quick, Charnita. This is my absolute favorite of you. Love, love, love. Okay. Uh, hey. No look is ooh, bad ooh, at ooh, all. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, yes, ma'am. I love that shortcut. Yes, I but, like this. Yeah, I like your challenge. You you boost my head. I'm ready now. I'm ready thank, now. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Look, I love me some you. What a wonderful oh, interview that you had with my little sis. Trending. Loved oh, I it. Love trending. And I just want to say this real quickly. First, let me say this. Thank you to the both of you for showing the world black love, black excellence, and a black power couple. For me, we really need to see this representation on our screens. And I just want to ask you, first, Charnita, have you taken this all in as far as the reality TV space? I day by day it's a it's it's i would say it's a challenge mm -hmm. um i have these moments where i'm taking it in and mm -hmm. and but i know what god told me and when i first spoke to jason when i told him before i got picked up and i told him i want to be on tv and i want to speak to the mass and i seen god and the things mm -hmm. that he prepared me for like i'm already ready for the haters like i got my mm -hmm. shade glass on standby you know my glass is ready but like i always tell people you you never really prepare for all the people that's gonna you know love mm -hmm. you and gravitate to you what do mm -hmm. you say what do you say at that moment when mm -hmm. you in a space of you need a space of your own so yeah. all this is just absolutely amazing but each I'm day sure. is 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 accepting it day by day minute by mm -hmm. minute second by second mm -hmm. new territory so yes. i can definitely understand how you i don't know because i'm not on reality tv but yeah. i could imagine how you feel yeah. same question to you uh jason has this been a challenge for you how, how are you taking it in i mean it's i mean yeah i think it's yeah, for me it's a little different because i i just I'm more of a private person, but mm -hmm. then uh, supporting my wife and, and every everything that she she wanted to to display to the world has mm -hmm. opened me up a little bit more. So it is a new space for me, uh, but it's not a, a bad space. It's more like a, just something to get used to. Um, mm -hmm. uh, what she said, um, helping her kind of um, cope with some of the the, the people that may um, be obsessed with you know, mm. trying to go or trying to connect and trying mm -hmm. to leverage leverage uh, her platform and things like that. So I think that's more so of uh, the adjustment, but I think it's been going pretty good. That's good. And just watching you guys on the show, Jason, I know that you are a protector. So I could imagine yep. how yep. this feels for you, you know, with what you just mentioned. I'll get yep. into more of the protector in a minute but charnita i want to ask you a serious question first how are you doing with your lupus you know and, and has your flare-ups slowed down any uh-uh no <laughs> no because no. you're still busy but they're gonna <laughs> slow down because I, i'm i'm getting out of tax season i okay. my flare-ups is caused off stress or um mm -hmm. it's trigger off stress so my mm -hmm. organs are doing very well so mm -hmm. if That's anybody right. my supporters if you 
if you was to really support me, it's just make sure you pray for those strong sisters because yes. I'm always doing something, but it's mainly just flares from doing too much, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. but I don't have severe lupus, but I thank mm -hmm. God that I don't, yeah. but stress can't send it there where I'm literally in the bed and I can't move. Yeah. So it feels as if it's the, it's severe to me, but thank right. God it's not affecting my organs. Whereas mm -hmm. people have kidney thank failure God. and different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Thank God. But I'm a well, strong I, I, woman. I'm very I know strong. you are. I know you are. And look, mm -hmm. I wanted to say your husband is awesome. The support that he shows you and even him knowing without you telling him i noticed that in the episode where he didn't he can just look in your eyes and tell so we'll get into more about how he tried to assist with that with the personal assistant but you're a boss the tax goat so i knew that with it being um tax season that you probably were just busy 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 yes. on top of everything else so um, we're praying for you. We're praying Thank for you. you. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah. Jason go, look, Jason gonna make sure of He's that. He's gonna give me a nice massage. Uh, <laughs> well, look now, we saw a massage. <laughs> uh, you, you skipping. Baby, you skipping, that Charlie. massage. He was like, you <laughs> doing it. I'm like, what are you doing? I you the weight room. You know? <laughs> look, and you said, are you in the gym or, you know. Uh, what? <laughs> yes. Uh, what? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Um, yeah, that was funny, but <laughs> I wanted to, and I wish I had this picture without the lettering. Aww. Let me get trending's comment off the screen, but the beautiful babies, Aww. and I just wanted to make sure again, to touch on these points before we get into the questions. How are the babies, JJ, Bella Rose and Jackson? They're, they are amazing. Our babies are amazing from Jackson Blue he just simply so smart and we yeah. just been i mean each day he give us something new and um uh like i said if he is diagnosed with autism we don't care we mm -hmm. we just want to make sure he get the proper help but this dude is just simply amazing like yeah. his how he thinks um then you got jj he can beatbox he can rap he can mm -hmm. sing mm -hmm. i mean smart uh he just scored perfect in the a cap like I, we always preparing our kids. Then you got Bella Rose. Oh gosh, uh, she's so spoiled. I have Bella. I have oh, Bella. Lord. First of all, I could imagine that she's spoiled, but how beautiful! <laughs> Look at that picture. How yeah. beautiful! And I'm gonna like get into dad. yes. Look now, I see uh, Charnita in the babies, but uh, JJ is your mini me, Jason. Uh, even Jackson. But this Bella Rose just stole my heart. So Aww. I'm going to get into the conversation that you have with Bella Charnita. But I wanted to make sure to ask you guys up front how they were doing. Let me say this real quickly because I want to give the chat a rundown of Charnita's world. Charnita especially. I'm not going to forget you, Jason. But I want to say that I am so very proud of you guys for putting Birmingham on the map for making your mark in reality TV. And let me just read what it says on the about section on your website, Charnita. Again, Ooh. just to let folks know that may not know, but Charnita said, I envision a world where I fulfill my divine mission and purpose by living a life of abundance and teaching others to do the same. My mantra is to live rich. I didn't have to spend much time in corporate America, what a blessing, to learn how to navigate it as a boss. I took a leap of faith and walked away from what most considered an ideal situation to create the perfect situation by using my God-given skills and talents to build the brand Charnita's World. Charnita's World is a transparent view into my life and how I built wealth while overcoming trauma, learning forgiveness, managing my wealth, finding holistic confidence, and nurturing my marriage and family. Charnita's World's objective is to inspire women to pursue what God has in store for them. She is worth far more than rubies. And I want to make sure that I read 
these next two paragraphs um, because something uh, as far as how you both stepped out on faith really touched me. But you said that you are a product of Birmingham City Schools and earned your bachelor's degree in business and human resource management from Jackson State University. With your experience and expertise, she's also a licensed broker, credit specialist, real estate investor, life and business coach, motivational speaker, and business owner. My husband has full confidence in me and lacking nothing of value. I credit my devoted her, devoted husband Jason, for introducing her to the industry. This is what did it for me. We quit our jobs the same day to pursue entrepreneurship full time as a team. And ever since God has blessed us, you have a strong passion for giving back to the community and helping people discover their paths, uh, paths to success. Last little comment. Uh, her children call her blessed. Charnita takes immense pride in her treasured children Bella, Jason, and Jackson, and she's determined to create a legacy through them. Every day, Charnita lives by the phrase, push the button. I believe that purpose becomes clear when success is the expectation. Absolutely amazing. And as I mentioned, for those of us that may not have gone to your website to just get a short brief detail of this tremendous life, I wanted to make sure that I showcase that in this interview. So yes. awesome, awesome. You a Thank boss. You, you a you. boss. And you, Jason, read, you read me so well. I didn't yes, I was like, God, it was me. I was like, yes, that girl you. me. <laughs> That's you, girl. That's what we've seen. That's you. So again, thank you for being thank that you. represent representation of a, a boss a black woman boss uh and again to the chat if you guys didn't know now you know um but jason just to hear all of that we learned so much tell us a little bit about your history your childhood your i know already what you do as far as financial advising and all of that but tell us a little bit more about you jason well i'm from birmingham alabama um I I come from a family of, of boys where we we all were raised by mom and dad. Uh, I'm the second oldest out of five boys, and um, yeah, I was um, always an entrepreneur, uh, even from high school. Uh, mm -hmm. Just just being uh, making something out of nothing, you know. Well, nothing out of something. So I basically. I'll start selling chips, juices, honey buns, anything that I could put mm -hmm. my hands on and just to make money to help my parents out. And mm -hmm. so with that entrepreneur spirit, uh, with me playing football, I got a scholarship out in uh, Jacksonville State to play football. And uh, mm -hmm. I continue to 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 uh, nurture those uh, that entrepreneur spirit. And also mm -hmm. I started uh, studying in accounting and finance. I uh, got my degrees, and shortly after football, um, I started working at a CPA firm. Mm -hmm. And my mom always, uh, growing up, uh, she was doing taxes from the house. Um, my dad was always uh, had his hands in a few things outside of his uh, steady job. So I took both of those experiences and just kind of said, "Hey, I'm going to corporate America," but I always wanted to invest. I always wanted to get into mm -hmm. real estate. So I started doing a lot of that on the side, but it was Charnita that came to me uh, about my mom's dream to start our tax and accounting mm -hmm. company, uh, mm -hmm. which I was a little bit, mm, I didn't really want to step out at first, uh, just in that, uh, because I was already working in, in corporate America and I didn't want to conflict the interest, but uh, Charnita and myself, we were working at the same company and mm -hmm. uh sure enough i i went on and bought into it and said hey let's let's do it let's let's step out and we, we started the company uh charnita she she was when we were at uh virginia college which was the company we ended up working for uh in corporate um mm -hmm. she, she recruited so many uh students to the company i mean it was amazing nice. so, so once nice. we 
started the company, our own company, um, me and my mom looked at Charnita and was like, hey, I think she'll be really good at, at doing taxes. And we she she fought it um, for a while and, and she finally grabbed it. And then the recruiting, her recruiting ability has just been amazing uh, mm. to, 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 to reach people. And she just took off. Now she's the tax goat. The tax <laughs> oh. goat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The tax goat. That is amazing. Look, yeah. there is nothing better than believing in self, number one, and stepping out on faith. So, mm. you know, when I read that the both of you quit the same day, that's mm. a testament to putting everything in the Lord's hand and that's just right. proceeding, you know. Mm. So excellent right. job to the both of you. Now, Thank look, you. I take detailed notes. Trinita, did you want to say something after that? Mm -mm, he, I was just staring at him. He did so well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he did. I did okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he did. He I'm, did. I'm really shy. I'm really, I'm shy, really. Really? Yeah. Look at your wife looking at you. She like, uh-uh. <laughs> oh, I'm shy. I promise. <laughs> I don't believe it either, Charnita. <laughs> But I took a lot of detailed note, guys, and I want to get into this awesome season of Charnita's World. Um, Charnita, at one point, and let me put this up real quick. I want to make sure that we do show Nubian Chow. There's a lot going on with this stream yard. Let me get this off the screen. But I want to make sure that we put up a Nubian television as well as Hugh TV Network congratulations uh to you guys a lot of people felt some type of way like no why are they leaving leaving look you want to be picked up by as many networks as possible so mm -hmm. i understood that and congratulations to you guys but let me get into something that i think a lot of women may have experienced at some point um charnita you were not too keen on initially or feeling relinquishing control when it comes to Jason keeping track of your spending habits. Um, <laughs> you said that you really just didn't understand Jason's language. Um, but what we saw, Charnita, eventually you submitted, um, I think after realizing that you know your husband and you mm -hmm. know that he had your best interest at heart. And he was putting you first and family first and just making sure I see the way you dress, child. So I know you probably was spending a lot up in them <laughs> stores. But how is that going? Are you still on that path of submission when it comes to letting Jason uh, handle the finances? Yes, um, okay. I'm still submitted to my husband uh, concerning the finances. And a lot of reasons in my submission is we could have if it was not for my husband it was times where literally on two occasions i know for one jason got terminated from his job and i was pregnant because mm -hmm. of his six mm -hmm. months to seven months savings i was able to move to hoover alabama in a nice apartment and mm. be, be taken care of mm -hmm. i don't know how mm -hmm. it feel to be in a relationship with my lights off i don't know how i feel not to be protected mm -hmm. i remember um having preeclampsia um through childbirth and being off work at 20 some weeks and mm -hmm, I was mm -hmm. well taken care of. I, yeah. It's just certain things I just never experienced. So why not submit to him? Right. So um, a lot of times women uh, shun for that word, you know, or that commitment. But if a man prove himself, you, you know, to be loyal to you and give you the desires of your mm -hmm. heart, I think they mm -hmm. deserve that. So absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And you know what? It's funny that you said that because I actually have this written down. A lot of women struggle with submission because sometimes we have to be strong. You know, mm -hmm. all men aren't leading in the way that they should. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's why a lot of women, you know, are leery with submitting. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it, it was a joy to see. Um, just again, that protection, um, because it it's felt through the screen. You know what okay. I mean? Um, you can he, tell. A lot, of, a lot of times, you know, he's, you know, when you submit to a man, you know, it can get kind of crazy because I was like, whatever you need, baby, 
whatever you need, mm-hmm, food. Mm-hmm, you get too mm-hmm. much of that. He, you know, they bump their head and lose their mind. So yeah. I was like, you know, you don't want to lose your mind too much. Right, you know, right. I'm still my independent girl and I'm still going to do me. Like, don't lose your mind. Right. You know, right, don't right. go in that bank and just do what you want to do. I, I'm like, why my name, my name is bank account. Like, don't, you know, don't, you know, do too much. But at the same yeah. time, you just yeah. got to be just right. So, um, mm-hmm. I just, I just remember like it, I just was, you know, but being spoiled, I also have mm-hmm. to take accountability of when he's handling everything. I was spoiled. I didn't have to do certain things. He was handling all the finances. Mm-hmm. So I understood from my point of view that I have to zoom in just as much yeah. as he did because going in there, not my name, not on that bank account, bank accounts. <laughs> Wait a minute now. Yeah. <laughs> and so I think communication is very important. Yes. Um, because even um, the therapy section before the end that you guys, hopefully you keep tuning in to the next season, mm-hmm. we're going to do some back things and you will really see me leaving and not really being so happy. Cause so in submission, you got to make sure you're not, agreeing to things mm-hmm. that you don't want to agree with just because mm-hmm. you try you're trying to keep that happiness of uh, mm-hmm. or you know not trying to argue because it's yeah. gonna come out anyway you're gonna feel some type of way so when i left that therapy section i went on this rampage i was in my car let me you know <laughs> pull up every day. let me find out this bank, they start saying right oh, you like two different banks they tell them the same thing it was like oh you're jason wife <laughs> I'm the one. Yeah. <laughs> but that's understandable though, you know. Yeah. I could imagine I'm as you were talking, I'm looking at a scale in my head, you know. Yeah. You know you know he got you, but like you said, you don't want to relinquish everything. You still want to be in a loop and all of that. That scene when you guys were uh talking, it was amazing. And also, you all went through a fast uh, as far as this as well. So, you know, everything was done, I think, in, in proper order. Yeah. And um, Jason, I want to say to you, thank you for showing the world that black men are capable of leading and mm-hmm. supporting and protecting in the right way. I think if we saw more of that or experience more of that as women, it wouldn't be such a big issue for us, because yeah, sometimes we that submit word and uh uh uh-uh, that's you know not gonna happen. But right. in cases like this, where you both know the end goal, it should be. Did you have any challenges, Jason, when Charnita sort of put up a fight? Like, wait a minute now, how did you <laughs> deal with that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I think and I told about this a while ago with the submission. One thing I had to always. Um, keep in mind is that not to be controlling with the submission because now I have to understand, okay, she's submitting to me. I have to make sure first that I'm right, that I'm, mm-hmm. I'm allowing God to lead me. And, you know, when we had our disagreement about the accounts, I had to just let her, let her cool off. I had to let her yeah. um, understand that and understand my intentions was not to, to, uh, to not just have her on the account mm-hmm. or keep her in the dark. So I just had to allow God to just kind of uh, reveal that to her. And then also just to, to let her know, hey, I'm also take some steps and, and hey, just meet me at the bank, <laughs> you know, and <laughs> I take you. And so I think uh, I think it was really good. It helped us because uh, now she, you know, just through going through that therapy, I know she wants to know everything. She wants yeah. to know uh, line mm-hmm. by line now at this point. So, um, so yeah, it was, it's, it's been really good. That's good. That's good. And I enjoyed you guys being able to maneuver through that, you know, just seeing it. And as I mentioned, um, and I'll get into more of as far as you guys, when you were at church and all of that, um, but seeing you guys fast or hearing you guys talk about that, that was a great thing as well, you know? So yeah. excellent, excellent to the both of you. Now, this scene um, really, really touched me. Uh, well, earlier in the season, when you first learned of Bella's issue, Charnita, at school, but when I saw you guys at the beauty shop getting the wigs on, 
I wanted to ask you, um, was it discouraging at first to even hear that your baby experienced anything when it comes to her hair or her being, you know, African-American? Um, was it challenging for you? Did you want to pop off like, you know, I wanted to go up to Bella School, child, but I know you handled it the right way. How did you deal with it initially? Um, being a, y'all know where I'm from, you know, I wouldn't call mm -hmm. myself. I, 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 <laughs> I, I took it pretty instantly. I called mm -hmm. up there as a mother, you know, let me speak to the principal. Um, yeah. But it was really her coming home telling me what mm -hmm. happened and how she was saying it. Yeah. And I'm, I just, I'm just so happy that I, we train our kids to let, you know, when they, when something is just not right, cause she could have mm -hmm. just kept letting it carry on yeah. um, because nobody should never question your beauty or mm -hmm. I decided to do your Afro, you know, mm -hmm. you take your braids down and you kind of wear your hair natural mm -hmm. just because you look different. Don't mean that it take anything away from your beauty. And, you know, hearing that, that anybody was questioning her beauty or her color, it, it that affected me really bad as a um, mother. And then I had to come, um, Jason had to come home and I had to tell him. So it's just. Mm -hmm. it, it was oh, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. It went all the way to the board. I I, I called the board. Oh, I, good. I, I, I went really far with it. And they good. did apologize. And she haven't had any more issues after that. No, no well, more issues. That's good. And I could imagine she's a daddy's girl as well, you know, mm -hmm. but it was discouraging because I think a lot of us, I went to um, majority clear high school, uh, 2000 girls and maybe 300 African-Americans. So I've experienced some things as well. But what I love, Charnita, was how you poured into her, how you talked to her about her hair the culture, your heritage, and how Black is beautiful. So I love that, that reinforcement um, early on, and I think that will carry on with her forever. And how is she doing? You She's know, doing is amazing. She, that's good. That's good. Um, mm -hmm. Look, our internet auntie was ready. Look, I've been ready to come Maybe. to Alabama for quite some time, child, for love and Maritonsville reasons, but I could have swung on by Birmingham too. <laughs> you better stop by. We can stop yes, by two places. We yes, don't play. Two people we don't play about right now. <laughs> okay, that's right. But yes, thank you for showing again. You guys, this show is absolutely amazing. Thank you. Um, reinforcing your daughter's self esteem early on, you know, because yeah. it can be easily fractured and that can carry on for quite some time. So, um, Thank you for that, and thank you for showing that. Uh, I did want to mention Jackson. Um, how is he doing with his struggles with speech? You touched on uh, whether or not it's autism or not. You don't know. But how is he doing um, in that area? I think he's doing great. Um, he's very young, being three. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think he, have to, he, he knows it's a struggle, but he also enjoying the moment that the, you know, the fact that he's three. So I think mm -hmm. the older here, you know, he gets is it get, it's getting irritating. The fact that he cannot communicate mm -hmm. like he wants mm -hmm. to, but yeah. uh, he's doing each day. He does very well and he goes at his own pace. Um, it's That's not good. that he's not improving. He just mm -hmm. at his moment, at his own pace, mm -hmm. but he saves the words that he wants to say. I, the, uh, I saw that. Daddy. You say you said daddy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, and what time you said shut up? I like oh. I'm like, really? no. I like, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold um, on. Yeah. That bird just don't come out. So I right. I don't I don't give them excuses. I was like, uh-uh. No, we're not yeah. gonna do that. You're not gonna say that word. You know, we're gonna find some other words. Right. You know? <laughs> Oh, that baby going to be quite all right. Uh, <laughs> yes. Again, just the love that the both of you show your kids uh, is what we need to see on reality TV. Yeah. Um, Jason, I wanted to ask you a quick question because you made sure to set up swim lessons for the kids due to a, a traumatic incident that you experienced. Can you let us know a little bit more of what happened with you? Yeah, so... Um... 
Hold on one second. I got the kids with me too. They they coming up to the car. Okay, no okay. problem. Okay, yeah, but so, uh, yeah, so I was playing football my senior year and um, uh, lead on a captain on the team. Um, very, uh, uh, I guess I would say one of those guys that was the first one in the weight room, uh, last one to leave type of situations like I was very highly looked at but then I also was pledge, pledging alpha uh my senior year as well uh and so by me doing both um you could imagine not a lot of sleep uh with with you know being a starter in football and, and really finishing my senior year and so a lot of things transpired you know during the, the process typical you know going through um haze and things like that so it wasn't yeah. really anything that um in the beginning that uh that caused me to to get to this point while i'm hospitalized uh, mm -hmm. but it was uh it just came to a situation where it happened it happened uh after yeah. i was initiated and then um it just it was just a situation that the guys i was old i was older than a lot of the guys mm -hmm. because of my senior year and a lot of decisions that were made uh were made in more so protection of hey we're not we're not we're not taking them to the hospital we're not doing this mm -hmm. yeah so we're, we're gonna kind of handle it like this and so just some 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 bad decisions that were made uh which mm -hmm. led me in a situation where i was literally dying and yeah. um and just throwing up blood you know it was, oh, it was really yeah so uh i think the hardest part and it kind of uh, touched on it in the show um so a lot of my teammates, even my best friend, uh, he didn't know. Like he pledged to say he pledged Kappa. Uh, so we both were pledging, but we actually both never uh we were very discreet about it. So I didn't mm -hmm. he didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what he was doing outside of football. It was kind of like one of those things. And so mm -hmm. when uh when he heard about what happened, uh and just is like that Kigi? Is that Kigi that you're uh, speaking Kigi. of? Yeah, Kigi. Yeah. Kigi, Kigi, okay. Yeah. yeah. And so the whole community, it was it was one of those things like not Jason. No, like, yeah. I, I mean, I was supposed to we won a championship that year. So I was supposed to get signs for my ring mm -hmm. uh, and they was wondering where I was. And and, I, you know, I was lying to to the hospital about what happened to me. I'm like, I got hit with a helmet, stuff like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. It just it just didn't make sense. Just trying to protect fraternity. Mm -hmm. uh, and as I kind of got away from it uh, and got near my family and got, you know, around people that really was tapping into like, hey, you need to like what's happening to you because you're on dialysis now. Right. So, right. So, so with me being on dialysis, it kind of sending those rooms, it really kind of opened me up uh, to who really is for me. And, mm -hmm. uh, and 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 from there, man, it just really it changed my life. So uh I really thank my wife. She was the one that she said, I don't care what you say. I'm taking you to the hospital. Yeah. You know, because so, yeah. they was just like, no, 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 you don't need to go. You, you, you know, and so. And we was girlfriend, boyfriend yeah. at the time. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. But I can tell you this, when I, when I, when I was laying in that bed, I looked at her one day cause she was still, she was working at, I think, uh, Lowe's or um, J.C. Penney, it was one of those stores, and mm -hmm. she was like, she had to drive back to go to work, and I just saw the sacrifice she was making mm. just to be there for me and um, mm -hmm. and the support when I was pledging too. So it was kind of like to see all that come full circle and, and see, and that's why I go so hard for her because yeah, um, is she was there, and I knew once we got out, I said I'm 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 proposing. Yeah. <laughs> And, yeah, uh, and I sure know because she, she seen she seen a lot. I mean, the condition I was in, it's like kids just mm. said, like you you walked in that room, like I mean, I was I was I was pretty ripped. I was, wow. you know, but when My you goodness. saw me at that point, I didn't look nothing like uh, uh, like I mean a week ago, you know. It, yeah. I, my body changed drastically. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, babe, you were babe, you were pretty ripped. I was real. I was real. I, was, I, was, I, was, I mean, I still, I still, you know, still good, but you know. But, so, um, but I just thank God, man, that He absolutely. 
bless me, man. I'm not on any medication now. I don't go to dialysis. I don't no kidney issues at all. Yeah. So I, I get checkups and it's been 12, 12 years now. I want to say. Has it Let been 12 me. years? Yeah. But yeah. God, what but a God. blessing. Yeah. And um, I saw how it touched your friend. You say it's Kiji. Um, and I have that later in my notes, but I'll go ahead and talk about it now. But when he said how you guys were inseparable at that time, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, when he yeah. saw you, he saw Charnita, and then yeah. it was vice versa. You returned that same energy, sneaking out of windows and everything else. <laughs> to go see he ain't got no damn window. He was in the Hey, they got all kind of stories. He got Look, I was getting away from him because he had, he kept having so many women. Hey, so early, he's like, I'm out of here. I know hey, that's why right because if Charnita would have came through and had questions, like, wait, wait a minute now, who is this? Who are you here for? <laughs> but babe, I love you, that though. <laughs> babe, did you sneak out the window? I, I did go out the window a, a few times. I did not know that. Charnita, did you watch the episode, child? <laughs> I thought he was lying. It was in there. I believe it. Look, the love, like I said, that <laughs> it's felt from both angles, from you to him and him to you. So I believed it instantly. But I love that his friend shared that because he started it off with you, with my man, my man, my man. But he made it clear that Jason was the same exact way when it comes to you. So, yeah, I'm glad you locked that down, Jason. And Mary, <laughs> Charnita, you're right. It was a sacrifice. You know yeah. what I mean? To even be as young and college and all of that. But she showed you how she was dedicated to you. So another instance of black love, black love. Right. What's your need? You got something to say? <laughs> I feel kind of, that kind of turned me on sneaking out of windows. See? And stuff. <laughs> I'm Look at still, you, girl. I, I, I don't know. I'm a Scorpio. I'm still at the window pole. Are <laughs> you still there? Uh well, yeah. look, I'm going to get into this later, but when uh, when you guys thought, was it this one? Yes, ma'am. And them kids <laughs> said, nope. Kids said, nope, they blocked that. So, <laughs> um, But look, I love it. I love it. And Jason, as far as you showing the kids or making sure that they learn how to swim, that is another important lesson, period, mm -hmm. for us, especially Black people. I remember Jay-Z saying when he had kids, he didn't know how to swim and he made sure to go learn how to swim because he just thought in his head, what if one of my kids fall in or whatever, and I'm not even able to rescue them. So even a lesson like that um, is what's needed for the black community. A lot of us don't want to learn. We don't want to get our hair messed up. And, you know, so I think it was excellent. I, I am so sorry that you experienced that. And thank God that you are okay. And yeah, just keep on keeping on. I'm going to say that later on, but to the both of you guys. But let's get into this black love chow. Let's get into this black love. Um, as I mentioned, you can just look at Charnita and Jason and you see that their love is authentic. I can tell that it's not forced. And as I mentioned I felt it just from watching you guys. Uh, Jason, I loved how you were anticipating Charnita's return from Atlanta. And when she got back, you made sure to take her out and all of that. This question is to the both of you. How do the both of you make sure to let your spouse know and show them that they are a priority? You have to be intentional. Like it's, it's like... With, with, I think understanding like each other's needs and and wants and and taking that time to just be intentional because mm -hmm. a lot of times I think when you when you've been married or been with somebody for so long, you could get used to a person. She used to always tell me when we first started dating, "Don't ever get used to me. Do not get used to me." And it's been times in any time I like. I didn't understand what that mean until I started being repetitive on some things. And then mm. that's when I started letting my guard down. So I think just being understanding that, okay, I have to be intentional about, okay, setting this time for a date. This is mm -hmm. date night. 
okay, this is the time that we need to take a trip. This is the time we need to to really invest into our marriage. Um, mm-hmm. We need therapy. We need this, you know, we need to be attending um, Sunday school or, you know, all that kind of stuff, I think, helps with uh, the romance um, from mm-hmm. my side. And uh, Charnita, what do you think? I think definitely intentional. Your time and your tone have to be in the right place. Um, me being a wife, um, I definitely think you have to slow down for your husband. Um, mm-hmm. um, you can make time for your kids. You can make time for your your career and different things like that. But the desires of your husband, he is, you know, is very demanding. Because mm-hmm. I remember, Jason, you was jealous when I was breastfeeding the kids. Uh-uh. On my own <laughs> I'm call out, y'all know I'm transparent. I'm like, you. You, you put this baby in me. I had a breastfeed. Why you And he like, I don't want to mind. Like, I mean, I'm like, dude. <laughs> and that hit me like, hold on, let me put the baby to the side. I think yeah. it's time for Jason to get breastfeed. Cause uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> gotta take care of the gotta husband too. You know. that's right well look i love it again we can see the passion um the intention must always be there um sometimes something as simple as not making sure that you're having date nights with each other mm-hmm. can make or break a relationship or mm-hmm. marriage so once again i'm gonna say this throughout Thank you guys for showcasing that. Thank you guys for showcasing that. Charnita, when I look at you, I think that your love language is being spoiled. And look, a lot of us can relate. Come on now, girl, you know. (laughs) But look, you looking like that, but did you not, you, did you not remind Jason that he didn't spoil you one week? I thought I saw that. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. I love it, Charnita. Look, happy mm-hmm. wife, happy life. And the yeah. both of you understand the assignment. So thank you guys again for showcasing Black love, real we authentic thank you, love. Thank um, you as a content well. creator um, oh, thank bringing you. our love to life. This was very special to us because this thank matters you. to us. Um, you, this was very intentional. And, you know, it's important for your supporters to be intentional, the fact mm-hmm. that how you... Um, emphasizing our love we we would not forget this and we appreciate you thank you thank you thank you guys and no thanks needed really honestly is what i saw and is what i experienced just as a viewer from watching and again i think we need to see this on our screens on a regular it's too much love and hip-hop and you know what I'm saying? All of that type of stuff and Zeus Network is, is just garbage. So I appreciate it. Just I'm sorry. <laughs> but I appreciate uh, just seeing, um, again, the black love. Let me, speaking of black love, Charnita, your parents, OMG, adorable. After they came back from date night, um, your mama seems like she's just as much as a boss as you it seems like all of you guys um including your mom jason you guys have that ambition and drive Charnita, did you get that from your mama as the saying goes i get it my, from my mom mama. is it, you maybe i got the spoil my mom is a stay at home um i seen a lot of my mom the, the things she had to do when mm-hmm. she was young when we was young the sacrifices Mm-hmm. Um, you got to understand my mom got pregnant at the age of 16. Um, most of my mm-hmm. drive of been going hard and working actually came from my dad. That's okay. why before I submitted to my husband, I was like, I considered, I thought I was an alpha female. I was very alpha. Mm-hmm. I was very bull like mm-hmm. because a lot of the tendencies I learned from my dad and he, he did not let me be weak. And so mm-hmm. I never, you know, growing up and having three sisters ahead of me. I, I didn't really enjoy a soft era. I always had to go hard and, you know, you know and Jason mm-hmm. softened me up uh, because I was like, I don't know if a man going to bump his head. I'm going to get it how I'm going to get it. But, you know, Period. but my mom at this moment, baby, my, my mom got <laughs> her house. She, baby, she is spoiled. She be like, yeah, my daughter, she going to give me a thousand dollars for anniversary. I'm, not- I'm like. She yeah, in her soft girl era. She in her soft yes, girl era. Soft right now, and my dad, <laughs> he good. worked. But yeah, 
That's good. You know what? Thank you for saying alpha female because unfortunately I'm one, but I've had to be one. Yeah. So I just divorced uh, February of this year after 10 years of marriage. And it was because there was no leadership. You know what I mean? So most yeah. times I did have to go hard. It was yeah. me, you know, financially he did what he had to do, but it was other. I'm not going to get into that child, yeah. but child. Uh, it led to divorce. So um, I'm glad that you mentioned that because I think a lot of us may feel some type of way. We know we don't want to be this hard. We know we don't mm -hmm. want to be this strong, but sometimes we can't rest our shoulders. Yeah. And that was one of the things that I told to my ex-husband. Can I just rest my shoulders? You know, wow. so I'm glad that to see that you experienced that, but you also had to recognize who you were married to, which allowed you to be in your soft girl era as well. So in your soft girl era, you still can do the dreams. You can still follow yeah. your dreams and follow the things that you, you actually can follow them more mm -hmm. Um, because mm -hmm. it's not such of a demand on your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. Great job Thank to you. you again, Charnita and Jason. Uh, let's get into this scary incident where the guy touched you inappropriately. And I'm going to say this. I'm sorry you experienced that. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, I can relate. Uh, the guy just actually really, really, you know, took a whole palm of my behind. And I went from zero to 100 in a matter of seconds. Made phone oh. calls and everything. Every, I kid you not. My cutie crew members know this story, but um, because of that, we saw you taking a self-defense class and kudos to you. Did that traumatic experience change the way you move when you're out and about in public? No, no lie. I, I got a form of, I'm going to call it PTSD after that. Absolutely. That did something to me. I um Now I have a security guard. I have certain protection. I was just like, I want to go shoot a gun. I want to learn how to do this. It did something mm -hmm. to me mentally. I can't yeah. be in certain clubs it's, if it's too crowded. I mm -hmm. get I get a stomach ache. I get mm -hmm. real, um, my whole body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I no, could imagine. I, it's, it's very serious. Um, um, I it, it was no joke. I, yeah. I don't want to ever experience that again. And I've never been knocked out. Yeah. I've yeah. never been knocked out out first of all yeah so i'm like you knocked mm -mm -mm. me out like for what yeah jealousy and envy yeah is like, why yeah. why you know jealousy jealousy and envy um mm -hmm. and it's sad so and that's why i asked you that because i could only imagine that you do still feel some type of way mm -hmm. and ptsd is a great way to um acknowledge how it really is you know that was uh, traumatic. I hated to see even the blood on your face and all of that. It, it was too much. Um, but I do commend you for want, wanting to learn how to defend yourself. You said you're not a fighter. You want to just go ahead in there and stick and move and get out of there. Yeah. Um, and I got a little chuckle out of that. But that shows how serious that you're, you're taking it because it was a serious matter. Yeah. Um, Jason, I'm sorry, Charnita, were you going to say something? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay. I was going to say, Jason, when it comes to what happened, I'm sure you were livid. Um, yeah. do you fear or Charnita's, um, when she's out and about? Oh know? yeah. 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 So now it's like, when she go out, let's say she, we rarely go out separately. So say if she's going out with her girls, it's, I get a, a feeling like I, I, I get really weary. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. want to, you know, ruin a girl's night by saying, hey, yeah. you can go. But um, it does make me because this happened when I was there. And so mm -hmm. it was mm -hmm. so it still makes me, you know, when I have my, uh, my security guard, that's that's what are, if I'm going to the restroom, I have him sit next to her, uh, making sure um, that she she's good, that mm -hmm. watching um, people that's coming up to her because this happens so quick i mean yeah my, my back was turning and it's like now and it's a it's a whole female so it's kind of like it you know at that point it's, it's kind of you know it, it's me and the female and you know and, and that right. can end really bad for me so yep. i i really need needed to to really make sure that uh the support of her 
Um, mm -hmm. uh, going through self defense. Also, mm -hmm. I'm taking her to the gun ranges and, and yeah. making sure she to shoot if she has a gun, all that kind of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think the protection that I have um, is just really zooming in, especially when we're out in certain environments. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing that you said that because I have that written down with you really being that protector. I could only imagine how that will be a constant reminder uh, as far as worry when she's not in your presence. So I want to say again, I'm so sorry that you guys both experienced that, but especially you, Charnita, you know, the selfish acts of individuals can sometimes lead to something much worse, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I'm just glad that you made it through. I'm glad that you are, again, learning these different techniques. I had to chuckle at the friend that you said it seemed like she liked being choked um, <laughs> when you guys were there. It was just funny. So um, that's the only laughter that I got out of that situation. But um, let's move on to the heat building. Um, Charnita, you remind me of Mariah Huck from Mary wow. to Medicine, the Ooh. creator and executive producer, but I'm not sure if you're aware, but she has a beautiful content space. And that's what I, first thing that came to mind when I saw yours, um, you said you got a recording studio there. It's an event center. You have office spaces and all of that. Is the center done? I know you said something about April, May-ish. Um, are you guys done with all of the remodeling? We're not. No. no. Not done yet. No. no. That's mm -hmm. okay. That's okay. But you're working well, on it. It's yeah, we're yeah, working. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. you guys are busy, so you know yes. it takes time. It takes yeah, time. And again, with being a tax goat, you know what I mean? I'm I sure this that, wasn't right. a month. <laughs> but do you still have, thanks to your husband, uh, your personal assistant? To I do. some of that anxiety. Okay. Yeah. Good. She at first was getting on my nerves sometimes because she the same sign as me. And it was the first time like I was kind <laughs> somebody like the same sign. So like, like it was moments, but I had to like get to know her. And mm -hmm. I love Tiana. Like sometimes yeah. you just have to slow down to understand to learn to adjust to a person. But Tiana yeah. is perfect in my life. Um, she good. is awesome, and I appreciate my husband for gifting me with a personal assistant. I we are doing really well. That's awesome, and it was awesome because again, just in getting to know Jason through the show, him recognizing. Uh, what you needed, you know what I mean? With the lupus flare-ups and all of that, you were doing too much. And he yeah. recognized, yeah. look, I need somebody to help her manage her day-to-day -day so you can continue mm -hmm. to make the boss moves without all of the stress. So kudos again to you, Jason, for realizing your wife's needs. Uh, how about Miss Z? Is Miss Z still around? Yes, Miss Z is still oh, around. Miss Z is still around. That's good. How did you say she talked? Did you say she talked? What did you say about her voice? I, I feel like it, you know that um that gravitation that when you is a voice that you can have towards kids and they mm -hmm. gravitate to them. It's just a certain tone or a certain sound. I feel like Miss mm -hmm. Z have that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I felt it too, and I love the way you were in mommy mode, reinforcing Jackson at that time in that scene. It was just beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. So let's get into the Black family that also worships, all right? Mm -hmm. So you guys not only are making all of these power moves and throughout Birmingham and further, but it really, really warmed my heart to see you guys as a family in church. And I thought I had a screenshot of you guys and the baby. It must still be in my phone. My apologies. But I want to ask you this, Jason, um, because you mentioned that you wanted to make sure that your family was basically grounded in the foundation of God. And we don't need this answer, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Why is it so important for you to make sure that your family knows God, that your children are in church. Um, give us a little backstory on that. 
Yeah, I mean, so I mean, God is the He's the foundation of everything that I've always uh, from everything from sports to to school to to just the way I live, um, and that comes from my parents. Uh, my dad um, is a, a preacher. My mom mm-hmm. it was heavy in the church, uh, and then me and Charnita and her her family and her dad's a pastor. Uh, her mom's a first mm-hmm. lady as well, so it just kind of meshed. So I just what our experiences um, uh, with 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 uh, our relationship with God, I always wanted that to flow down to our kids to understand that what you see, everything that we we have, it comes from God. He's the source yeah. of everything that we have, and I honor Him. Uh, not just from going to church, I tithe, uh, we mm-hmm. give, but we're, 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 we're heavy involved in um, our ministry at our church. Mm-hmm. And so I think with our kids seeing that, they'll always hold on to that as they get older and mm-hmm. apply that to their lives. So that's 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 the main thing. Absolutely. Uh, and look, like I said, we think so much alike, I guess, but I wrote that down. My parents made sure that we were reared in the church. And what I wrote down is I so very much appreciate the teachings, you know, the yeah. discipline. Um, I love the message that your pastor uh, spoke on, faithless versus faithful. And I think that yeah. you're showing uh, an act of being a faith member by being a financial advisor of the church. Does the pastor have the same issues Charnita had? Did, do he want to see everything? Do you have to provide <laughs> everything? <laughs> provide yeah, he, everything. <laughs> he trusts, man. He trusts. He, he when I came on board, they had a they had a really solid solid uh financial team. But mm-hmm. when I came on board, um it I got into the detail um, and once I got into that detail, he was like, oh, J- Jason got it. And he's very hands-on when it comes to, uh, uh, okay, what, what kind of moves do we need to make? Uh, what, are, what do we need to do financially with the church? And then mm-hmm. he just sits back and just let, let me put the spreadsheets together. Uh, I get with the other uh, the members on the team, and we just, mm-hmm. we just present everything. And I just I told him um, it's, a, it's a way for me to give. Uh, my time and energy mm-hmm. uh, because mm-hmm. I know it's uplifting the kingdom and putting together that that um, project to pay off our mortgage uh, was mm-hmm. such a blessing uh, to see it in the way we did it in phases. Um, mm-hmm. So it just eye opening for me just personally. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Not only uh, that, but your expertise, you know, and I'm sure that most times a lot of companies or, you know, a church in, in a sense is, you know, still a business per se. Right. Um, exactly. They need that. They need that. So I thought that was great. Um, yeah. Charnit, I want to go back just a little bit when it comes to that attack. Um, there was, um, uh, uh, what was it? I don't want to say an Espo like Tisha, but you guys, you were a part of a panel um for an event in Birmingham and you decided against going. Um, with what you experienced as far as what happened at the nightclub and all of that, just having that PTSD, as you mentioned, did that play a part in, you know, shying away from maybe a possible confrontation? No. No, no, not really. No. Just, that okay. particular situation, you you're not gonna keep saying my name wrong. You know, I, I just didn't feel right about it. Mm-hmm. Um, you're not. I know who I am. You know, yeah. as a person, um, I've been booked for that particular event. I I just didn't feel right mm-hmm. on the interview. It, mm-hmm. it was probably one of the worst interviews I ever had. Like I just didn't feel person. I felt, um, and I I have met a lot of um celebrities and superstars mm-hmm. so i i when i feel i don't care who you are when right. my spirit not right um i'll shut it down and you yeah. know it may be for it may be for the best interest for um both parties mm-hmm. um it it does make you feel some type of way when your supporters still come and they ask yeah. and not the best you know answer was given to them because you don't want to mm-hmm. look as if you bailed out or anything you know yeah. very 
uh, on time person and I, you know, put my skill set into whatever I'm doing. Right. But no, it wasn't no thoughts about, you know, I'm I'm just not, I don't give people the time uh, of the day. I might, when I do that, then I'll have to find me some glass. Then you're going to see this right here. Come <laughs> 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 on, glass. I know that's right. Okay. Let me say, that's what I'm going to find some more. These are your glasses too. I'm going to find some glass. I'm going to cover my face up. Right. Okay. I'm just not. It'll read you know, on your face what you mm -hmm. what you're. Right, she's thinking. not even me worth talking about her on my this platform right now. So let's just okay. Well, we're gonna look. We're gonna move <laughs> right past that. The spirit of discernment, though, is everything. And look, mm -hmm. I'm gonna move past it, but I I'm stubborn. And I wanted you to show up and show out. Okay. Uh, I think I said it in a video. F, and I ain't gonna cuss, Doctor Heavenly. I had uh, but, I had a couple of people said that that could have been. Yeah. But my spirit not right, it's a no right. for me. It's I get a no it. for me. Mm -mm. I get it. I get it. And I totally understand. Uh, you know, why even put yourself where you know you're going to be feeling some type of way? Yeah, and, and I don't want to no. be up there in my face not right. And when I feel things, that's what I'm saying. It's both parties. It's her mm -hmm. event. And it, you don't want to arrive somewhere and you just not totally devoted to that particular right. event. Right, right. Understood. Understood. Well, I only have a couple more, but I want to showcase friendship. Where is it? Um, I love this as well. Um, this is with, with Kiji and Whitney Chanel. Now, I feel like uh, the majority of us were duped again when we were introduced to the Love and Marriage Huntsville franchise. Um, and I really, really enjoyed seeing you guys with your friends. So I want to ask you, uh, Jason, first, and then you, Charnita, how important are friendships to you guys? You guys got the black love on lock when it comes to being marriage. But how is it when it comes to friendships as well? I think friendships is amazing, especially uh, uh, I don't have too many people, that, uh, too many I consider friends that I talk to like every day. But mm -hmm. these are these are uh, friends that that was there before on uh, the success. They've seen mm -hmm. um, uh, our weak weaknesses. Obviously, Kiji saw me at a really weak point, and he seen me at, at a, a strong point just in sports. So mm -hmm. uh, I think seeing in life now, um, and that's kind of what we're talking about. It it it, it shows in our life, and I think. Uh, at those weak moments that I still get to this day, I could lean on him because he he's seen me there before. He can encourage encourage mm -hmm. me. So it's very important to kind of uh, as we grow, we know the foundation. They were there on the foundation, and I think it, it helps how we maneuver. Great answer. I love the way uh, when you guys took that walk together as well. You know, so excellent, Charnita. What about you? We're gonna get into your green tea talk soon but how valuable are your friendships and i gotta get ready to wrap it up um okay. um but uh i would say friendships to me uh are very important um but not only just friendships is the i don't know it's the loyalty behind it because it's not in my world it's not the fact that everybody's my friend um people gravitate to me on different for different reasons and i understand when people gravitate me they trying to get on the wind and train everybody that's come in my life it may not exactly be my friend but they may come into my life for a purpose or i might come into their life for a purpose so mm -hmm. i look at things as a divine purpose and i practice those three things time and attention and tone with everybody mm -hmm. that you know i try to meet so you know or get around but um I'm just like Jason. I don't have too many actual close friends. I, mm -hmm. I grew up. It was four. Uh, I, it was four of us as sisters, and but mm -hmm. I have a lot of entrepreneur friend. You know, friends. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I have a lot of people around me that's supporting um, my world, and I support them. And I'm always supporting other businesses and building mm -hmm. other people up. I put a lot of energy in other people and kids. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, when it comes to your show, we, we definitely will uh, wrap it up. But I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to seeing more of the Green Tea Talk. I loved um, the the stories that you guys spoke of. I absolutely loved how you poured into, what's her name? Kyla? Kyla? Kyla. 
Kyla. Love that uh, traumatic experience. And, mm -hmm. you know, it seems like she didn't really understand the severity of it, but you made sure to sort of let her sit in that. So, mm -hmm. um, again, excellent, excellent show. Those of you mm -hmm. in the chat, make sure that you guys, if you haven't, go back and watch episode four and five season finale tomorrow. One of my questions at the end was, what about season two? Have you guys already started filming? I don't know. Uh -uh. <laughs> keep, us, now. keep us in suspense. Well, I'm yes. looking forward to it. I'm also looking forward to hear more of your mom's uh, journey with cancer, Jason. And again, I just want to thank you guys for meeting with me, interviewing with me. It's been a pleasure. Continue to do your thing. in my love. Yes. Little talk. Continue to do uh -huh. your thing. We are proud of you. Thank Anything you, QB crew, everybody you, out there. <laughs> you are welcome. You guys have a great night. I thank you again. Shout out again to Tilted Crown Productions as well as Hue TV Network and Nubian TV. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great night. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. All right, Chad, I want to thank you guys so very much for joining me for this interview with Charnita and Jason. Um, if you haven't already, please make sure to go back and watch the show. The season finale is tomorrow, and it is really, really good. So as I told them, I hope that they are picked up by more networks because we need to see this. Um, so thank you again to Melody Cherie and Dawn Michelle. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Now, look, what time is it you all's time? It's 616 my time, and you guys know I may be ready to get into some mess. So I have a, <laughs> I have a live scheduled for tomorrow. But you guys go ahead and drop a, a one in that chat if you guys want me to go ahead and make that live tomorrow tonight and what i wanted to discuss is this here and we also will be letting loose saturday night cutie crew members as well as patreon members let me say this to the content creators that were in the building thank you guys for joining me braylon lee trending my little sis here for hot tea uh aunt debbie pink table topics pink diva um all of you guys, thank you so much. So you guys want to hold off to tomorrow, but you guys want to take a little refresher and we come back in about 20 minutes. Put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. But thank you again to Charnita and Jason. All right. I see some ones, child. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I see some ones. I see some ones. Okay, this is okay. I see some ones, child. Okay, it is 618 my time, 818 Central, uh, 918 Eastern. So, 20 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and change the time on this live. That means I will have my Friday morning, um, free. So, you guys join me in about 20 minutes. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, about 15 minutes. Join me in 15 minutes. Let me go ahead and change the other live. But I thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. Bravo, bravo. Thank you so much, bravo, for the super sticker. I appreciate you as well as Janie. Thank you, Janie, for becoming a member of the Cutie Crew. All right, guys, we are out of here. Chat with you guys soon. Bye.